and hexadecimal is it's a number system that goes 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. Okay? You're familiar with base 10, right? That's the normal system of numbers. The base 10 equivalents for hexadecimal numbers go like this. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, D equals 13, E equals 14, F equals 15. And 10 equals 16. Then ten, the 10 becomes 16 in base 10. I know it sounds strange, but you can think of it as just 6 layers added onto the normal number system after 9. A10, B11, C12, D13, E14, F15, 10, 16. Wait. I'm confused. Why is 10 there? It's like F10, 16. So if I'm getting this right, it'd be 12 plus 10 plus 15, which would be 22, 35, no, 37. I think I get it. So, 37? Is that it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yes, I, oh, jeez. Every time. So I'm just going to try 37 first. No, okay. So it was... Uh, come on. 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 plus 10 plus 15. Wait, 135. Okay, so it'd be 12 plus 10 um, plus 15. 125. Ah, uh, so that's about hexadecimal stuff. Alright, so I'm not hexadecimal. the item I found. It says C plus 10 plus F on the note. Okay. Let's go look at that voucher then. Let's go look at that one more time. Ah. Hexadecimal. I wonder if it's some kind of hint. Yeah, maybe. Jump page. you remember what I told you about hexadecimal code earlier? Yeah, of course I do. Alright then, here's a little quiz. What would 9 and F be in base 10? Well, F is 15, so it would be 9 plus 15, which would be 24, right? That's right. Good job, you're a fast learner. Alright, no, I want to look at it. Okay, so C plus 10. So C equals 12. Then plus 10 is... Oh, would that be 16? So it would be... 28, uh, 28, 38, 43, so 16, it's 10, so 10 equals 16, okay, so you can hexadecimal, okay, so 43 maybe, so went, oh, I know, I know, I know, Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> a 10 was confusing me. Sounds like metal is falling. Well, I guess that went well. Yeah, the door opened. Good job, good jumpy. What's this? Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, it's that. So it looks like, yeah. Oh, it's a swipe card. Looks like a lowercase h, but the line is next line next to it throw me off. Looks like a Japanese character, because no one goes like that. It's uh, wa. The Japanese character for wa, but it doesn't look exactly the same, but it's sort of the same shape. The symbol for the Saturn. Remember there was an elevator next to the main staircase? Wasn't there a mark like this on the card reader next to it? Oh yeah, I remember that. I guess that means the card ain't gonna help us out get out of this room then. 
I'm not sure. Why don't we try it out? Alright, there was a there was a card reader next to a door somewhere. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, I think it's unlocked now. You did it, Jumpy. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. There we go. We found. They stepped out of the kitchen and into a hallway that looked rather familiar. Oh, we're on the other side of the grate now. I met a great stretch from wall to wall. Beyond it were two elevators and the entrance to the kitchen. They had entered the kitchen from one door and come out the other. That meant their map of the ship's interior was accurate. They laid their map out in front of them and began to discuss their next step. There were four possible routes. Uh, A... C, D. First A and B. A and B both seem to connect to an L-shaped room. However, the two doors that led to the room uh, were both locked and could not be opened. The next route was C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door 5, one of the numbered doors. Next was route C. Then do you think we'd meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look. There, by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. Ah. Then if we take route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... Route D. All four looked at the map. <coughs> they all looked at the staircase. It's lazy curve leading down, deeper into the ship. Route D then. D it is. Yep, Route D. <coughs> then we're set. They jogged down the stairs until they reached the sea deck. This place doesn't look as fancy. Just to be sure, they kept going to check the deck beneath. Yeah, just like I thought. Deck D is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. The water gazed back at them, its smooth surface like a great mirror. As ominous as it was, Junpei took at least some comfort from the fact that the level hadn't gone up much since the last time he'd seen it. They turned back to Sea Deck. It didn't take them long to find the two elevators in front of the stairs. They looked identical to the elevators on the top floor, with one exception. These elevators had a card reader on the wall between them. Oh, it's a... Uh, is, it, is that a dead? Because it's blue? On the card reader runs a strange mark. Guessing that's another planet thing. Huh? See, it's the woman's symbol with a thorn on it. That seems like... What happened? Ouch, 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 ouch. Lotus had taken hold of Jinpei's hair. She began to shake him violently and he thought he heard a loud... a low growl coming from her throat. <laughs> Such violence. Junpei began to wonder if she was not the devil itself. With an uncomfortable smile, Jun spoke up. This is a Mercury symbol. The thorn symbolizes the wings on Hermes' staff. Herpes... Hermes, Herpes, whatever. If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a keycard with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. They gave up on the elevator and returned to the stairs. A hallway stretched up to the left. A great many doors lined both sides of the hallway. They weren't sure how many, but certainly enough to be discouraging. Damn it, if we try and search all 